Hey guys, what is up? Today I wanted to remake my old video and add a cool new twist, and that is a no-code automation that generates viral AI content with one click. So here, let me click this to show you how it goes. Essentially what it's going to do is it's going to get a prompt, it's going to communicate with my telegram, it's going to generate a an image, it's going to wait for that image to be generated, it's going to turn that into a video, then it's going to send it to me and my Google Sheets. And I'm going to show you how to set up all this in under 30 minutes, even if you're a complete beginner. Alright, so our automation is currently creating this video and I'll get back to this in a second. I just want to cover the manual way of doing this and I'm going to show you some of my mid-journey prompts that I've been working on. So I have some that are destruction videos. I'll have all the prompts and everything linked in this Google Sheet completely visible to everyone if you need any help with this video. But essentially this um, is the prompt that I used to create this boulder above a Ferrari and we animated that into a pretty interesting clip. We also have some natural disaster videos. Here was an avalanche. Um, essentially what we did is all we went on to mid journey. We typed in these prompts. We went over here to settings, make sure it's nine by 16, um, which is the play size. And then we click on it here. All we have to do is upscale this. And then once we upscale these results, uh, we get the higher resolution ones and we were working off of those. And you can see I was just testing a bunch of stuff. We have these scary monsters. I put this uh, on my YouTube shorts, got some views. And then we're kind of back to the miniature workers and some of the tests, more upscales with that. But you get the point. Basically playing around with this. Also, you can just go to explore to get some inspiration. Playing around uh, with some of these, creating these images. And once we have these images, we go to clingai.com. We go to the AI video Kling 1.6 frame editor. We upload our picture. We do a quick description of the prompt and we generate these videos. And you can see here's the miniature workers, another one of the miniature workers, another one. These are probably the most consistent, easy to make. We have the scary person that did um, pretty well when I posted it once. Scroll down, here's our avalanche. And you can see the beginning part, I did do a 10 second generation on this. Uh, normally I recommend doing five seconds. And we could scroll down even more, see some of these other creations. Here's the rock hitting the car. This is actually one of my favorite, I guess, destruction videos or whatever that I made. And we could download that. Okay, so I actually noticed that Kling added an AI sound ability, but it costs credit. So I'm going to show you this other cool tool that I discovered. It's this website, link in the description. All you do is upload your AI video uh, or any video that you want that doesn't have audio and give it a few minutes and then it creates multiple audio tracks for that video. So I think that one is the best, but I did want to include this as a little bonus feature because I know I talked about it on my Instagram. I will link the tool below. It's a pretty useful uh, tool if you want to add audio and that works specifically well for these destruction type videos But if you are doing a sort of montage or something like that You won't really need that and my automation for this simple version will not include the audio But I will be creating a lot more sophisticated automations in the future All right, cool now. Let's get to the automation This is going to allow you to generate a lot faster and the first step we're going to do is on ChatGPT. I created this giant prompt right here I'm going to link it in that sheet, link in the description. You can just copy it and you can edit the parts uh, that are in bold, essentially to make into whatever theme you want. But we're going to want this in a spreadsheet file, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, but here is the output it, that it gave us. So it gives us the status, and we have it set as to do, the image prompt, Instagram caption, just something I added, and then the video prompt. We're then going to download that, copy and paste it, whatever you want, into Google Sheets. And here you're going to see your Google Sheet. So uh, I've been running this a little bit, so I have ran these two uh, versions right now. This one was generated when I was uh, clicking the button in the test video. Essentially, each one is going to have a prompt similar to the ones that we were using on MidJourney. And it's also going to have a video prompt, which is a little more simplified version of it. Uh, you could use the same prompt if you want, but for in this tutorial, I'm going to have both of those. And this is what your document should look like, although these will be uh, tabbed to the to-do, um, meaning that they haven't been generated. And the ones that have, they should have their links right here. So now we have everything set up with our Google document. And essentially, if we just click that 50 times or do it in a loop of 50 times, it would generate every single one of these videos. 
and then output them here or to the telegram. So that's the setup. Now let's go into N8N and we're back on N8N. So the first step that you're going to have when you make an account and do your first automation is a click uh, to test the workflow or you can click this on the bottom here. So you're going to want to keep that. You can trigger it with other stuff but to make this tutorial simple we're going to keep it like that and then you're going to have a little plus button over here uh, right there and what you're going to want to do is search uh, Google Sheets and then you're going to do the Git row version of that. I'm going to open up the one that I already have here and you're going to gonna, you're going to first authenticate and connect your Google account to make sure it has access to the sheet. Then when you do that, you're going to make sure that the operation that you clicked before is the Git row operation. So make sure you did the Google Sheets Git row operation. You're going to find the document. Mine's called N8N test. You're going to find the sheet. My first sheet is called sheet 1. That's where everything is. And then columns. You're going to want to make sure the top columns are set up in the same way that they are here. But in these columns, you're going to want <clears throat> video status you're gonna to want to do a filter and on the filter you're gonna click video status and you're gonna do value to do so what this is gonna do is it's gonna get the first one that's to do which should be your first row but this will help you when you repeat the cycle and then on the bottom there's gonna be a few more settings and you're gonna to have to open it up and do the combine filters and and make sure that it only returns the first matching row and that's important because we only want to do one at a time so once you have this set up, once you have all of that set up, uh, it should work. You can test the automation. And once you test the automation, it okay, I just want to insert this note right here that's very important. If you don't see the input variables on the left side, you need to make sure to run the automation and actually test the automation. And once it actually runs the first time, it will create these variables. But if you have not run them, this will not show and I am not showing running it so make sure at the end of every step that you run the animation and make sure that it works it will I'll show you kind of the results by opening up the telegram one here it will show you um, all the variables that you could play with and now have the prompt the caption the video prompt all of that which will be necessary for the next step so this next step I connected my telegram account so I could send it to my phone so I can easily post it this is not required, so I'm not going to go in-depth on this. You can completely skip the Telegram step if you want, but I'm going to open it and show you how that works. Basically, you have to make a Telegram bot, so you message the bot father, set up the Telegram. You're going to chat with the Telegram bot that you created on your account, and then once you do that, you can access the chat ID. I'll have a little description below on how to do that. I sent you just asked ChatGPT for a tutorial, and it did it. And then over here, text, all you're going to want to do is drag over the prompt uh, to this box right here. And then this just sends the prompt of, that was being used to the Telegram. That's not even necessary, but if you have your Telegram set up, you can easily send the video at the end. So that's the cool part. All right, and now we got to the fun steps, generating the image. So if precursor to this, you're going to need to make a pyapi.ai account, and that's going to route all of your requests through this to create the generations and stuff like that for both the image and video. So you're just going to create an account here. You're probably going to want to load it up for at least $5 worth of credits. You're going to want to go to the API keys. You're going to want to generate a new one. And then once you have that, you're going to want to copy that. And I have mine hidden here for obvious reasons. Um, but the next step is you're going to hit plus. You're going to do HTTP request. And then you're going to get one of these modules. And I'll show you what the settings are here. You're going to want the method to be posts because you're going to be sending it to them. You're going to want the URL to be this URL. And that's going to be the same one here from the documentation. api.pyapi.ai slash api slash v1 slash task and that's what we're going to use for pretty much everything and then authentication you're going to want to do generic credential type and then you're going to want to do generic auth type as a header auth and then the header auth account which i'll show you how to do that here you're going to want to put the name exactly like this x dash api dash key and then you're going to have the value and that's where you're going to place post the key so once you paste the key there uh, you should be connected to your account when you're sending the request and then you're going to want to turn on the send body and then you're going to send the content type as a JSON and then um, you're going to send this uh, prompt right here and or this JSON 
uh, code right here and it's pretty easy almost all of it will be uh, created for you so what we're gonna do for this and we're gonna be creating the image on flux so we're gonna click the flux tab and then we're going to click run API and this will show us the documentation and essentially here we're just gonna copy and paste this so this is just an example and just has all the variables and whatnot that we're sending uh, to the server then we're gonna go back we're gonna paste that in and the only thing we're gonna change is where it says a little cat you're gonna delete that and then you're gonna drag in the prompt so you're gonna to go to the input you're gonna go down drag the prompt and you're just going to drop that right into the quotation marks and it should look like something like this make sure that the quotation marks are wrapping around the green text that you drag into here and it looks exactly like this and then for the width you're gonna to want to change that to 576 and then height is 1024 and that's going to be if you want to create them in the real format, uh, Instagram real format. So once you have this, um, this step should be completely done. And when it runs this, it's going to generate the file. And then you're just going to have to get the file. And that's the next step. So the next step, we're going to add a wait one minute uh, just so it has enough time to generate. This is not exact, but this is a, a way to stall out because if we request it before it's it's created it we're gonna have an issue so we're gonna do another HTTP request and then here I'm gonna pop this one open and then this one the only difference is we're gonna have we're gonna do the method as a git we're gonna do the same exact um, URL slash and then we're gonna drag in the uh, the task ID and where we're gonna get that. okay so how we're going to get that is we're just going to go to the previous automations and we're going to drag that task ID and then make sure it just dragged right after the the uh, backslash here that you're going to put if it doesn't already have it and then make sure it looks identical to this and it's going to find that task and then for all these options you could turn them off and then for the header auth you have to do it the same as before make sure to just it'll let you just select um, select it here but if not just put the the um, the same information as you did with the past one and that should get the file and then we can use that file in the next step and cool we got the image and now we're gonna create the video so to create the video you're gonna do the same thing add a HTTP request I'm gonna open up this one and we're gonna do the same thing as we did generating the image we're gonna do post the same URLs before the same authentication as before send body json and we're going to go to pi api you're going to click on cling run api that opens this and here's the example we're going to want to copy this example and we're going to make a few modifications to it so we're going to copy it also in the document in the description we're going to paste that here so what we're going to want to do same thing as before we're going to want to take the prompt delete what it has for the prompt and this time we're going to want to drag the video prompt variable from over here so we're just going to want to drag the video prompt make sure that it's in the quotation marks exactly um, how it should be and then the second thing we're going to want to do is we're going to add one more variable so you're going to add make sure um, between these other ones you're going to want to make sure that it that there's a comma and then you're going to want to do quotes image underscore URL quotes and then the colon and then space and then quotes and then now here you're gonna wanna after the quotes you're gonna wanna scroll into the output of your last automation get that image URL and you're gonna drag that here you're gonna put the quotes at the end and then you're gonna have to make sure that there's a comma before the negative prompt which you don't have anything in but you have to make sure that it's formatted right with the right amount of commas separating all the variables and stuff I'll copy and paste this into the notes but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have that image URL variable in this and the prompt variable in that and then let me see and that and once you have those two things it should be good I'm pretty sure that it gets the dimensions based on the image that it sent um, but just make sure I'll copy and paste this into the document and make sure that your code looks the same your JSON looks the same as mine once we do that um, it will send the process to generate that video 
Then I put a wait for six minutes. Now this is because cling takes a little while longer. And there's, you know, this is a simple version that doesn't check. So we're just going to wait six minutes. And then we're going to do our last one, HTTP request git video. And it's going to be very similar to the git image one. And I'll open it up right here. Same thing. What you're going to want to do is go to the last, um, to the last, uh, the video generation one. You're going to get that task ID as we did before by just dragging it in, making sure it's after a backslash on the task. Credentials are the same thing. And then you're not going to send a body or anything like that. And then that will get you the video file that we'll use for the next step. Now the next step we're going to do is update the sheet. So we're going to do an update to the sheet. Um, and that's going to be an update row document. So you're going to click Google Sheets update row find the document that you have mapping each column you're going to want to do the match to the column row number and then over here you're just going to drag in that variable of the row number here so that we get to the right row and then all you're going to want to do is change the video status to done this is going to make it so it does not repeat the same prompt the next time that you run it it'll go to the next column and that's very important and then for the URL you're going to want to go up here and on the get video we're going to scroll down and look at for the output and here is the output so we're going to drag this variable into this box and what that's going to do is make it so it links us the completed video here and then it sets it to done so it doesn't run this again and pretty much you have completed your entire automation. The last thing I'm going to show you right here is the Telegram. We're just going to send a message on Telegram and I just dragged the video um, file into here and I'll send it over Telegram. And everything should be working. I'm going to run this a few times, show you the results on Telegram. And I'm going to preface this with it's not perfect. We're not cherry picking images. This is Flux AI model. I try to make everything simple so you can build this as quick as possible. And I really do want to build some more in-depth automations that have uh, parallel sequences. So it's doing multiple at the same time, looping, posting to socials, all of that is possible. But right now, I think where this could provide a lot of value is in that initial chat GPT prompt, you could do things like origami animals and generate 50 of them and go through and go to the best 10 or 20 and make a compilation of that or whatever. There's so many different ways uh, that you could approach this, but I'm just going to run this like another five times or so, show you the results. And I want to thank you for getting this far into the video. Make sure to subscribe for more AI marketing automation and all that content. And I'll see you guys later. Here is my logs on Telegram since I started. I started with a car. Um, this is just like the default prompt when I was setting it up. Some more testing. Here's the car again. It's kind of going backwards. And then here's the first iteration I did um, on kind of the new prompt. So you can see this orange one is pretty good. Uh, this is supposed to be a watch. I mean, you don't really see the watch. The people are tinkering. It's okay. This is an origami animal in the style of I had prompts of a bunch of origami animals and then here are some of the ones I was running while I was making the tutorial not really a fan of that one or this one either I think the prompt the initial prompts that I put in I think is some more ChatGPT things to come up with more it wasn't coming up with the, the greatest prompts but you can see here this one's okay these little workers on a strawberry but I just wanted to show you these outputs you know what's kind of realistic I'm gonna be working on more in-depth videos but this video was substantially longer than all my other ones, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.